Hello, I'm Emily Beach and I'm here to talk to you about my new film project entitled The Sacrifice. Where, when and how you can access it, as well as what to expect from it. I have always been a fan of horror and thriller films and when the opportunity arose to direct one, I jumped at the offer. When I was choosing a particular style to direct my piece, I was really inspired by such films as Donnie Darko and Dawn of the Dead and I tried experimenting with combining the two styles. I was specifically inspired by Richard Kelly's directing at the start of Donnie Darko. In the opening scene, as the boy gets up from the floor, the director does a really inspirational 180 degree pan of the boy and then suddenly grinds to a halt. In this time, he uses a long shot and gradually gets closer to the boy. I felt that it creates a dramatic sense of tension and because of this I have tried to include a similar build up in my piece. I tried to mirror this, you know, through the way at the end I use a handheld camera shot to depict action from the point of view of people sacrificing the girl. And I started with a long shot and ran in, gradually fading to a close up of the girl. This choice was unusual for a start of a horror film and I did it in order to challenge the norm of a horror slash thriller movie, you know, get us away from the American rubbish we're used to. However, I did conform to the horror slash thriller film through the way I switched between two different locations, like the office and then the woodland. One of the reasons I did this was in order to pursue another director's style I'm really interested in, Zack Snyder. In Dawn of the Dead, he uses a lot of jump cuts at the beginning as a means of unsettling the audience. For example, switching from the hospital to the car park. And I have also used this technique. I did this in order to create a balance between the action going on in the woodland, which is, you know, set in the past, to, to the description of the events by the detective happening in present day. In my film, I opted to use a variety of short takes in my opening, which, again, is unusual for horror slash thriller films. This is because, you know, they often start slow and then build the tension throughout the piece in order to create an atmosphere for their audience. However, as a director, I really wanted to challenge this, and my use of short takes is done as a means of hooking the audience from the beginning and taking them out of their comfort zones, <laughs> but don't be put off by this. My horror was also set during the daytime as well, another unusual technique I hope you enjoy. When I was casting my film, I tried to represent teenagers. You know, one such way I did this was casting a young teenage girl in order to play the victim in my film. I was doing this to try and highlight teenagers, like how they think they're invincible, but you know, they actually are quite vulnerable in real life, and I tried to represent their vulnerability throughout the film. One of the female actors I used, Yolanda Lake, I chose in particular as she's rather small, and so her vulnerability is evident throughout the piece. I casted a female to play the detective as I felt it was generally a male dominated role and so putting a woman in this job might challenge the theory, you know, create a contrast. And I chose to put the actress in a suit to show authority. Although the actor playing the detective is young, I have ensured that she looks mature throughout the scenes and so accurately depict detectives. I felt that the actor, Emily Beecher's innocence, helped to create an interesting contrast with her job as a detective for her audience. As you can see here, I've decided to advertise my film through the use of my podcast, as well as showing you a sneak preview of the opening over the internet, although the film will be released in cinemas in October. You can see trailers for my film on such channels as Sky Horror or in cinema showings of other similar horrors to ensure that everyone who is anyone interested in horror slash thriller films hears about it. <laughs> So look out for these if you're interested in my style of movie. My film will be distributed by all major UK cinema companies such as Odeon, Showcase and View, so be on the lookout for my film in October time. Being my first film, I felt that, as I worked so closely with the editors, I have really learnt the editing process, and if left to my own devices, I now have a really good understanding of Final Cut Pro. I learned how to cut scenes and how to use effects to create a music fade into my film, which I believe adds to the overall effect. This is because it builds tension with the sudden fading of the music, and the lack of noise thereafter creates a foreboding sense of the unknown. As I look back at my test shots, I feel like I've come on a long way. I felt they were rather plain, and there were no special effects to enhance the viewing. My editors used a different type of software, called our movie, to create tension. And as a director, I felt I had minimal input into the actual outcome of the final produced product. In my new movie, however, 
I felt there was a dramatic difference in the quality, with it being significantly improved through the lessons I have learnt previously. As a special treat for you, I have put the first two minutes of the film on the next link, although you will have to wait till October for the full cinema release.